So many people listen to great advice from great teachers. They listen to great material. They read books from the best coaches and most successful people in the world, but they get little or no results. They wonder why after all this reading and listening, nothing happens. But some other people listen and achieve huge life-changing shifts. Why? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why some get results and some don't. It's what happens after they turn the audio off. It's what happens after they put the book down, after the coach goes home, after the speech has ended. It's what happens when no one is watching. That's when it counts. When you listen, learn. These teachings, books, and speeches are not made to only get you pumped up for five minutes while you listen to them. They are designed to sharpen your mind, to create a mindset that is prepared to work, to create a habit of putting in the hard yards. You must listen to successful people to learn more, but that learning doesn't mean anything if you don't apply what you have learned. It's what you do after you have learned that counts. After the coaching session, after the master has left, after the training session, are you willing to put in the work behind closed doors? Are you willing to continue the pursuit of more knowledge after the course has ended, after the motivational video has ended, after your training partner has given up? Or will you be like the majority and just step back into average? Go about your average day at your average job and then go to your average home where you will turn on your TV and watch average shows. Turn that crap off and read something. Listen to something and then apply that something. Listen and listen real close. Your success will be determined by what you do when no one is watching. Let me repeat that. The level of success you will achieve will be determined by the work you put in when no one is watching. By the work you put in when you're tired. By the work you put in when you don't feel like it. By the effort you put in when you feel like you don't have anything left inside. You're tired? I don't care. You'll always be tired if you don't suck it up now. You'll be tired of being broke. Tired of living with no passion. Tired of not living your potential. Tired of being sick and sick of being sick and tired. Screw that! When no one is watching, that is when you work. That is when you push harder. That is when it really counts. I could say so many things that could change your life. On this channel, we have already. Some have completely changed their lives but some are in the same position. Why? Because when this is over, some choose to push harder and some choose to take it easy. Who are you? Are you the one that is prepared to suffer today for a better tomorrow? Or are you the one that takes it easy today and will suffer tomorrow because of that decision? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Remember this, when you think no one is watching, you're wrong. There's always one person watching. It's your future self. Your future self is begging you to show some guts, to show some heart, to do that little extra now so you can live with pride later. Don't let your future self down. Three years from now, you can have what you need. You can't have everything. You can have what would be good for you. But you have to figure out what it is, and then you have to aim at it. Everything that you guys want is outside your comfort zone. All the results, all the growth, your potential, who you really are, is there waiting for you. But most people, they don't really want to grow. They don't really want to change. They don't really want the results. They only want it if it's easy, if it's comfortable, if it's within that realm of comfort. And they don't have to face their fears. They don't have to go through the stresses and the anxieties and overcome their limitations in life. 
And that's why most people will never have it. They'll never change, they'll stay the same, they'll never get the results that they really want. You're going to get what you're looking for. So if you're looking for success, you're looking for happiness, you're looking for prospects, you're looking for recruits or clients, I'm telling you, the more you're consciously looking for those things, you're going to see them. When you're looking to win, you're looking for victory. Sit on your bed one day and ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? And if you actually ask that question, but you have to want to know the answer, right? Because that's actually what asking the question means. It doesn't mean just mouthing the words. It means you have to decide that you want to know.